who conquered the world, like the history of the Rockefellers. Fuck. Fuck. You know, the conspiracy theorists, whatever you want to call them, they, all, they claim that it's all connected. 9-11, JFK, like it's the same people, and they're all connected. It's the same families. It's the same secret society. And it goes back. Well, it's most of it, uh, most of it started with John D. Rockefeller and, and uh, Standard Oil. And when you learn that shit, holy fuck. The history. And you know the craziest thing about the whole thing is he was so into monopolizing oil and everything. Once it was it wasn't just oil, banking. He got into everything, big pharma. He had control of everything. John Rockefeller was so dominant. He was playing he was the first billionaire. He was ruling the world, man. And uh the one thing is that all hemp or marijuana conspiracy theorists, they all are aware of the reefer menace propaganda and finally they it worked after 10 years of all this propaganda that made weed look like it killed you and stuff and made you do crazy shit, they made it illegal uh, and we all know that that's from big industry like DuPont and the Rockefellers and all that, we all know that, that they were trying to shut down the industry, they were blaming it on this Mexican smoking weed, we all know that as weed enthusiasts, but you know what you don't know is, you know, alcohol prohibition was also because of John Rockefeller, he supported anti-alcohol groups and blew them up and donated millions to blow them up to outlaw alcohol because he saw this as a threat to gasoline. Whoa. Yes. And this is not a conspiracy theory. Alcohol prohibition was all backed by uh, John D. Rockefeller. Whoa, anything, whoa, whoa, anything... whoa, whoa. It was a threat to gasoline? Yes, alcohol. Because they he... thought people were going to make like ethanol? He wanted to crush the ethanol business, right? But the way he did it is to create this hysteria with drink. Everyone has a drinking problem. No. Everyone's killing each other. So he did the same thing. He did both of them. Oh he did the God. same. You're going to find out about this. This is not a conspiracy theory. He funded uh, the anti-saloon league it was run by one of his good friends and you know what ended up happening they out same thing they outlawed uh, alcohol you couldn't drink alcohol but they said what about the alcohol for cars and and uh, they wrote in the law that you could still make alcohol for cars but you got to put petroleum in it so that people don't drink it so it oh made it God. it killed the business so now they got to put oil in it if you want to sell it oh and then it killed God. it killed all he dude he killed everything Oh and he got busted God. for everything. Henry Ford said that alcohol was a cleaner, nicer, better fuel for automobiles than gasoline. Wow. Holy shit. Wow, this is nuts, man. That is so crazy because you can make alcohol without fossil fuels. Apparently, anything, any vegetable that ferments, you can use as fuel. Henry Ford said anything that you could ferment, apples, anything you could turn into biofuel. That's crazy. And John D. Rockefeller, that's what he was all about. He's the richest man in the world, was raised by a psychopath. John D. Rockefeller's dad was named, they called him Devil Bill.